Imagine you're able to centralize all of your leads, meetings, meeting recordings, projects, sales scripts, and more in one CRM. Now, if you're looking for a game-changing CRM setup, then in this video, I'm gonna reveal the curtains on exactly how I centralize meetings, recordings, projects, sales scripts, and more within my agency system. Now guys, real quick, I have not seen anyone on YouTube showing you as much behind the scenes content. So if you like the raw behind the scenes type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and smash that like button. I would hugely appreciate it. So right off the bat, I wanna show you exactly how our Go High Level CRM syncs directly with our custom made CRM. Now we obviously use Go High Level just because of the marketing rich features that it has. But when it comes to operations, Go High Level is virtually useless, at least in my opinion. So our workaround was to hire an internal developer to take our Go High Level CRM and sync it with our custom CRM. That way we have a duplicated image. So taking a look at my screen here, we're gonna go ahead and create a test lead just so you guys can see how this works. So we've successfully created this lead here in Go High Level, and then it will auto create this lead here in the Notion CRM. Now, when an appointment gets booked and this drags over to appointment booked, it then automatically moves by itself into the appointment booked stage. Now, this means that every time we do something inside of our Go High Level CRM, it automatically happens in here in our custom CRM. But you might be asking yourself, like, why would you actually want to do that? It seems kind of redundant. And if that's what you're thinking, good question. So jumping specifically into this, if we go ahead and open it, you can actually see the power behind everything. So right off the bat, we have our notes section here where we can go ahead and document any sort of notes, add the date, add any sort of sub points. Again, just for quick bullet point summaries of this client account. Now we also have this client meetings database where we can centralize all client meetings inside of this contact card. And if I go ahead and hit new, we have a few different templates. So walking through the one-on-one call, which is our sales script, you'll see the sales script will start to automatically populate, allowing us to centralize the sales script inside of this call and give our sales staff easy access and not have to worry about opening up another doc. Everything is right here. All the questions, absolutely everything. On top of that, once they finish, they can actually go ahead and paste the Loom recording ID right in there, add the meeting dates and add themselves. So again, we can centralize everything, including meeting recordings, which is phenomenal. Now, the other types of projects that we have are the onboarding calls. So we're able to track and record all these onboarding calls, one-on-one -on -one client check-in calls, which again, this is super key, especially for the SMA world. As you see, everything auto-populates. We're going over progress and review, obstacles, opportunities, customer wins, feedbacks, action steps, what to do next. And then we have the AI auto-populate a summary on this call. So that way a manager can go ahead and quickly review it, quick bullet point style. Now, again, this is fully customizable. So you could add anything else. You could modify the sales script. I'm just showing you what we use internally. Now, on top of that, we also have some backend auto automations that would automatically create a new project. So let's say we just won this client, then this onboarding project would automatically populate inside of this CRM contact card. If we open it again, fully templated, where we have all of our to-do lists. What's really cool is once we start actually checking these off, you can see the completion bar starts moving. And then what's even cooler is if we actually open one of these tasks, we have embedded step-by-step -step processes with documentation and links. So that way we can make sure our team is doing exactly what needs to get done in order without fail. Now, not only do we do that for our onboarding, we also do the exact same thing for our fulfillment and for our offboarding. That way, everything is documented, projected, templatized, embedded with SOPs, and able to be fulfilled at the snap of the fingers. Now, not only that, we also are able to embed client marketing creatives inside of this card. So that way we can see the exact pipeline of every piece of creative from idea to editing to published to actually if it was a winning creative or a losing creative. Now, why this specifically is so important is because you can now start to see exactly what type of creatives were winning, what type of creatives didn't work, and then you can start to optimize in the future specifically for winning creatives for your clients. Now, if you're starting to understand a bit about me and how I like to run things, we're big on templates and embedding SOPs. So if we were to go ahead and create a new creative, this would start to auto populate, we would be able to actually upload the raw footage inside of this little card, we would be able to brainstorm any sort of ideas, we would have video scripts actually embedded in here where we're going through the video script and creating the video scripts, we would also embed the actual ad copy. And on top of that, we can also publish the edited video inside of this card again, allowing for full centralization of this entire creative process. Now, the setup that you just saw is the only reason I was able to scale to $64,000 a month with just me and one VA. 
So I knew everything was going to get done properly. And then I could quickly overview all the tasks. I could quickly review certain call meetings and make sure that the company was running smoothly. Now I'm actually going to be working with a few agencies, helping you guys build a custom enterprise level operating system for your agency. So if that at all sounds interesting, make sure you're above that 15K a month recurring revenue, because honestly, up until that point, your systems are going to change so much. And hit me a DM on Instagram. Here's my handle. Now, if you're trying to get to that 15K a month, then check out this video right here where I'm going to show you in detail how you can start to book more sales meetings for your agency.